Guys, I'm also enjoying the Tony Bowler basketball court right here in Rochester, New York. Tony Bowler. Yes. Bowler. Bowler. We're remembering him. He was an ex outstanding uh, member of the Rochester uh, community and worked greatly with the youth in uh, Rochester. Right there. Yes. In memory of Tony. Now we're going to move on because there's some music here, but we just want to show you that. Guys, this is Queen C. Pinkston, the in Encourager, encouraging caregivers all around the world. Just met a young gentleman, was able to share with him what we're doing here. At, oh, stepped in a hole. <laughs> what we're doing here as we're sharing care, uh, sharing with caregivers around the world, encouraging them and letting them know they are the unsung heroes. Guys, I pray that you have a blessed, blessed day, and we're going to see you right here next time. Hey guys, this is Queen C. Pinkston. Yes, the encourager. Yes, yes, yes. Caregiver for 20 years of my late mom and my late husband. I am out here today Oh my gosh, this beautiful, beautiful day. Guys, get some steps in. I'm at one of our local parks here in Rochester, New York. This is Cobbs Hill Park. Guys, I used to work here years and years ago. Yes, used to do um, music classes. Uh, here, recreational music for the kids over here at the rec center. And uh, it's all fenced in now I think they're getting ready to get it ready for the kids for the summer like they're doing some renovation yeah because uh, school is just about uh, out here in upstate New York so we're just looking at the beautiful beautiful waterfall over here I love the the, the, the way they have the sprinklers working in the pond it is just so beautiful guys it is so beautiful I'm telling you I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. You know, and the birds are out and uh, flying about. and It's just a beautiful day. You know, I just went to the doctor to get some things checked out there, uh, making sure that I'm going to be able to hopefully uh, take a good vacation this year. want to make sure that we can uh, have everything all the I's dotted and all the T's crossed and that we don't have anything to hinder. Oh my goodness, just so awesome, guys. I love the way they keep it manicured with the grass and everything, you know? It is so nice out here. I haven't been, I haven't really spent any time, hardly, up here. Guys, there's a plane flying right over right now. Yes, 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 guys. So, well, well guys, make sure that you, you like, make sure that you share. Make sure that you subscribe. Support your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Support your girl out here. Bringing your content every day. Yes, we are. We just hit 14,000 subscribers, by the way. And I want to say thank you. Thank you to all of my subscribers, all of my supporters. Guys, if you're new here, please like, share, and subscribe. Wow, what a beautiful robin. That looked like a robin right there. It just like a robin. Yeah. I'm not sure what kind of bird is it, but I'm going to say Robin. I love, love, yes, yes, yes. Guys, this look just how clear this water is. You can even see the fish down there. If you look hard, right down there, I can see the fish. If you look, yeah. See the little fish? They're right there, right there. You can see them swimming in right there. Right there. Look at those little guys. Right there. Yeah, they think I'm gonna give them some food, I think. Because instead of running away, they're coming closer. Yeah, I don't have any food for you guys. I don't have any food. As a matter of fact, they tell you not to feed uh, the fish. We're not bringing uh, things in to feed. And I could understand why, because you could, uh, I don't know, you just could, could cause some problems, you know? Um, bringing all kinds of various foods and things in here that could harm the fish. 
And you don't want to do that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful, beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day out here. Yes, yes, yes. Cars are parked. Some people are having a, a eat out. Yeah. It's a great time for it. The weather is awesome today. I think it's quite almost, almost right now, maybe 70 degrees, maybe 70 degrees, uh, give or take, could be. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here, guys. The time is exactly 9.38, 9.38 a.m. a.m. on this Tuesday morning. And uh, yeah, normally I would be working, but uh, I have a ton of uh, sick days build up, so I had to do a doctor's appointment today. Yeah, so my supervisor asked me to make sure I take the day and go get my, go see my doctor. So that's a good thing. And I'm thankful, guys. I'm so thankful for, look at all of the geese over there. They are just sitting there. Look at them, they're all relaxed. I'm thankful, guys, that God has blessed me to have uh, a job. Yeah, guys, I work as a dialysis technician. Um, been doing it now for 12 years. And uh, some of you know my story. Uh, my husband was on dialysis for 20 years. Yeah, if you listen to my trailer, you've heard me say it time and time again. And uh, I never really paid attention to dialysis. It was not something that I focused on at all. You know, who? Who spend time thinking about, uh, you know, kidney failure? Who does that? No one does that. I mean, you're living your life and you're doing what you need to do, eating what you want to eat, enjoying, you know, your life. And then uh, a tragedy strikes. Something comes in. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, now you can see a lot of other geese over there right through that brush there now we're a little closer yeah yes we're walking along here so uh life throws a a punch right and something comes in and all of a sudden you know you're dealing with something and uh you're like wow what happened i mean just what happened and the thing of it is it um it actually doesn't just affect you, right? Uh, when these tragedies come, they don't only affect you, they affect your family, it affects your friends, um, your whole world, actually. And um, you have to learn how to deal. So my reasoning uh, for ministering to Guys, this is our ball diamond out here. This is diamond number two over here at Cobb's Hill. So, this is diamond number two. And I know, uh, oh, I see. I see where it is. I see where it is. So, diamond number one is all the way down there. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so what you do is you take your experience of whatever it is that you went through in your life and you realize that uh, when you're in it you're probably thinking that it's all about me it's all about me it's me my life my pain my discomfort all of this is about me. And then, and then you begin to realize that it's not all about you. Now guys, we walked all the way from that area there. And I say we because you're walking with me all the way from that area, cars way back there. And we're coming this way. And we're gonna go down to the, uh, let's see, we got ball diamond number this is this is number two here so let's see and then this one is number three so 
did I pass by one? I was thinking that this would have been number. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. That's number two. Let's walk on down and see. Let's just go down and see what's happening. So, we're just getting some steps in right now so we can figure this out. There's a shed there, and they got the outdoor facilities there for people. And uh, yeah, which is very accommodatable. Yep, so, okay, so diamond number, diamond number three right here. This is number three. Okay, so we will keep going. And uh, let's go find out what the next one is. Guys, these are some beautiful, beautiful, big, big, gigantic shade trees here. Look at these trees. How beautiful they are. Now, I, I in the sun peeking right through right there. That's awesome. I have no, how old would these trees be? Wow. When would they have, have planted these gigantic trees? Just look at that tree, guys. Look at that tree. Wow. Outstanding. Beautiful shade, 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 shade. Awesome, awesome. So, we are, okay, we did two, three, so, so it looks like, looks like there is one or two more of these diamonds down here. Looks like, well, we're gonna go down here and see, then we're gonna make our way back. Now the bird over there, enjoy. I love the way the grass is just manicured. Oh my God, so beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful. Reminds me of when we had our lawn care service and my husband would mow the grass. So beautiful. So great out there. You know, sometimes I really miss that. I don't know. I used to say that we make the right decision. But you know, you don't want to get caught up into that either. Because a lot of good things came out of uh, our being here in Rochester. A lot of good things came out of it. You know what I mean? Uh... And so, my life is in the Lord, and I trust Him that even when we don't make the best decision that we think for us, uh, that the Scripture says that all things, all things work together for the good for those who love the Lord and who are called according to His purpose. So, I take all of my choices, my decisions that I made, good or bad, and I, I trust God that He uh, took them and, and, and still are taking them and having them work out for my good. Yeah. Yeah. Because we are, we are human and uh, we can't see very far. What do I mean by that? In the future realm, in the spiritual realm. Oh, more beautiful trees. Oh, wow. I love trees. I really do. I love this one. And I love the way the sun is shining right through, right there. I love trees. I do. Yeah. Um, my mom used to plant trees. As a matter of fact, on our farm, uh, in, uh, in South Georgia, one of the first things she did was plant a, an oak tree when she was a little girl. And now it is a big, big tree. It is a gigantic tree. And i tell you something. She planted that tree when she was a little girl. And she lived to be 101. And she passed away in 2011. Now she was born in 1910. And she passed away in 2011. So that tree is definitely uh, over 100 years old now. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Amazing. Okay, so I don't see a number on this one, guys. We walked all the way down to this one. Yeah, I don't see a number. So whatever. But at least we walked down. To see so now we're going to 
make our way back. Uh, I want to see. I want to see what this. I want to see what this is here, cause the fence is different on this one. Yeah, this diamond here is the same, but the there's a different fence on this one, and then there's some chairs out there. Look like where uh, people can sit. Got some guys working over there. Yeah, they're manicuring that. Oh my God, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? I think that's the children's center. Yeah. But uh, one of those medical buildings. But yeah. Oh, guys, we're in the shade now. Beautiful. Look at that shade, guys. Look at that shade. Isn't it, isn't it awesome? Sh trees bring the beautiful shade. Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's just fenced off. And there's someone walking their dogs over right over there coming with their dogs yeah and uh, they have them on leashes that's a good thing okay so I don't know what this is actually huh very interesting uh, let's see is there a court there what does it look like okay so yeah I got it this then you do something out there I am not sure. Okay. Very interesting. I don't see a sign that says. So we're going to turn here. And we're going to walk back. And uh, make our way back down now to the car. Let's guys, let's just for the fun of it. See how many steps we have. Yeah. Because I, I forgot to check. We got started. So let's see here. Okay, it's uh, 9.49. Oh, we don't have many steps, guys. We got to go back up 3,000. 3,000 steps. So hopefully by the time we make it back to the car, we'll, we'll, that number will be higher than 3,000. Yeah, so. And uh, let's see if we burn some calories here. We might have to take another route. I'm going to get over here on the, the roadside and get out of the grass. And, uh, yeah, see if we can walk our way back down to the recreation center and uh, see if we can uh, build up a few more steps. All right, so guys, I always walk facing the traffic when I walk. I always walk facing the traffic, and for my subscribers that are in other countries you guys that are over in Africa Haiti about uh, over here we drive on the right we drive on the right side of the road and I know a lot of the countries drive on the left side so we drive on the right side over here so I walk meeting the cars so I can see if anybody is trying to swerve out at me or anything like that people normally don't do that but you want to be better safe than sorry you just don't want to assume that folks are always paying attention to the wheel when they're when they're driving yeah yeah so guys we're walking along it's a lot of shrubbery up there nice and green nice and green over here and uh yeah and uh shout out shout out to my subscribers, to Tiffany, always Tiffany, I appreciate you. To Barb, always appreciate you. Caretha, always appreciate you. My niece, Bob, Bobby, always appreciate you. Uh, my nephew, Leon, always appreciate you. Um, oh God, so many, so many, so many. Guys, I appreciate you all the subscribers. Well, I call your name or not, I truly appreciate you all, 14,000 of you. I appreciate you so, so, so much. Guys, make sure that you you like, make sure that you share, make sure that you subscribe. Right here, to Queen C, NLB. NLB stands for No Longer Bound. Make sure that you subscribe, guys. We we'll appreciate you, and because of our battery is getting low, we're going to see you right here next time. 
Wow, guys, this is Queen C. Pinkston. Oh, gosh, caregiver of my husband and my mom, Ben. And I am just blessed, blessed today. I came for a checkup at the doctor's and I saw one of my babies that I, oh my God, worked with since he was a kid and he recognized me. Guys, it was the greatest of all. Oh my God, what a beautiful day. Guys, we thank you. Look at the sun, look at the sun. What a beautiful, beautiful day this is. Listen, it's a great day to be alive. I pray today that you give God all of the glory that is due his name. Guys, we got some other chores to do today, but today we're getting it done. Oh my God, what a blessing. When you run into somebody that blesses your spirit, and also guys, ran into a couple of caregivers already that give out some caregiver cards. God is so good, even while I'm coming to get my own appointment. Oh guys, stay tuned guys for whatever God has for us the remainder of this beautiful day.